And little Sparky is ready to go, and he's off to a good start. He didn't take a shit right away like the other three dogs. Moving towards the obstacle course, followed by her psycho trainer, Lindsay, who has been just beating this dog senseless until he realized how to run this obstacle course right. If you're just joining us, Bob and Peter, we are here at the dog show as this dog is like a little crackhead. Shooting through the valleys, over the river, and through the woods. And he jumps over that one perfectly. There's been no errors so far. Jumps over the second, jumps over the third. And wow, zips around like a little Saquon Barkley that he is. Ha, get the pun, Barkley. Wow, that's over. How exciting this is. The judges are going to hopefully give this dog all tens. Because if not, the owner will probably drown it. And uh, we'll be hearing from Peta very shortly. All right, Peter. Long three-pointer, no good. Rebound and put back in by Alex Caruso. The real-life Doug Funny, we call him in the booth, as LeBron is baffled, and he doesn't understand what just happened. That's not supposed to happen. Caruso looks like he should be selling me fucking life insurance. Not dunking the ball like this, but talk about ups. And uh, LeBron, along with the rest of us, wow. Well, the game is called blow. They blow this ball around until it goes in the net. The guarantee is, though, this. They're getting coronavirus. Every single fucking one of them. It's a cesspool of COVID-19 being passed around. Ball goes in the net. That's a goal. They all got it, though. And the pitcher, Timmy Johnson, pitching all right, but he has acted a little strange lately. We don't know what is going on. He just threw up, I think. He just euchred everywhere. And he euchred again. I don't know if this kid has the fucking Ebola virus, if he went out too hard last night, or he's possessed by the devil. But either way, we're cutting away. This is fucking horrifying. Well, kids, there's a lesson to learn here. Don't smoke crack, do bath salts, and try and rob a convenience store. It will not end well. Look at this kid. He gets fucking tased, lit up, and he's on the ground. Now, the other girl who was helping him rob the store... Tried to exit, but the guy won't let her leave, so she sneaks around the cop, and she goes to the back room. This is where it gets fucking good, people. Pay attention. He gets away, runs around the corner, but the cop fucks him up, hits him with his fucking elbow right to the jaw. Meanwhile, this crack is looking for an escape, right? There is an exit door right behind her on the right, but no, she's all fucked up. So she decides to go where? To go into the fucking ceiling! Well, guess what? Bad idea, you little crack whore! She falls down into a baggie of clothes, and now she's fucked because the cops are there, and there they are, guns drawn. Good guys win. Sorry, honey, no crack for you today. <laughs> I mean, these fat, chubby Asian guys, I don't get it why they fight. They never stand a chance, especially when you're facing fucking Aladdin on steroids over here. Roundhouse kick! Down he goes, and jumping around like a fucking ninja, that one doesn't land. Again off the fence like a fucking gorilla. And oh my god, he's okay, I don't know how. And ball, the 26-yard line, 39, Bears need a stop. Pressure, right side, Brady, one man to beat, it's Erlacher. Erlacher goes full retard. And sliding for a first down is Tom Brady. That is embarrassing. One of the most unathletic quarterbacks to ever play the game. Erlacher is supposedly Hall of Fame linebacker. And Brady makes him look like a little bitch. Let's hope it's not the same result in the golf course today. <laughs> And the first free throw up from George Hill. It is up, and it's good. Tie ball game. Whoa, Peter. This could be the biggest free throw of George Hill's career, and he looks like he either saw a dead body for the first time or just shit his pants in class and doesn't want anybody to know about it. The man, the myth, the legend, Steve Kerr in the sideline once again. George Hill has an opportunity for Cleveland to take the lead here, 108-107. The biggest free throw of his career is up, and it is no good rebound by J.R. Smith, and where the fuck is he going? Oh my goodness, overtime, 
Here we come. Look at the replay. Rebound by Smith. He has a stroke. Either that or he get hit in the head with a fucking frying pan before the game. And LeBron says, and I can read his lips, you fucking idiot. What are you doing? Peter, that's... Well, he's too young to be on drugs, but something's wrong with this kid. We haven't figured it out yet, Peter. Rounding third. Meanwhile, the third base coach is on his fucking cell phone. This game has been a fucking disaster. The score is 27 to 3. None of these kids can play a lick of baseball. The ball is shooting around the infield right now. It's been touched by every single player. No threat of being thrown out at home, and he's safe. Wow. I mean, everywhere we go, this little shit is there. And he's fucking with us, and I know it. Outside for a ball, that's a full count. Let's cut back to him. Give him the stage as he stares us down. Pretty sure this is the same kid who spray-painted our car in the parking lot. He's been to several events, and now I guess we're in a staring contest, and he's not budging. He's got a lot of confidence for an 11-year-old. He's like a kid that got laid for the first time. Either that or he's going to blow up a fucking shopping mall. I'm not sure. I can't get a read on those eyes of his. But anyways, let's get back to baseball. This kid wins. Never seen a human being more hammered on the golf course. On 14, that's not good. Swing and a miss. And don't judge a book by its cover. You think this guy would hit it a mile. He's built like a fucking gorilla, but he doesn't stand a chance. And down he goes. It looks like he just got shot in the head with a fucking rifle. Swing and a miss down. And par five here, 512 yards. The Easter Bunny teeing off, taking a little bit of a shortcut here. These people better move. I think somebody spoke in his backswing. That fucking 11-year-old goes down as the Easter Bunny rips his cock off. And the crowd seems to be on the Easter Bunny side as they applaud. And we cut over to Justin Thomas on 13. He shouldn't be guarding him. This is not good. Jesus. Oh, God. He had a stroke. Down he goes and rejected by the white boy. But here comes the unathletic kid again down the court. He has no fucking idea what he's doing out there. Get him out of the game. He has dreamed about this his whole life. Fabriga, the Olympics. Oh, fuck. That is not good. What does Fabriga think this is? A high school pool party? Uh-uh. You can see what he does wrong here. I think he took a shit midair because look at his face. And the dive is just horrendous. And I believe the judges are going to rape him for this one. Let's check out what he got. Yep. All zeros across the board. Fabriga is not happy. Let's cut over to John David Pahoyo, who is ready for his next. The kids are they are just so polite nowadays, Peter. They got a good head on their shoulders. Thrown down a third. It was close. We'll see what the play is. He just said something to the umpire. Oh, my goodness. The umpire just fucking threw out a seven-year-old. And the seven-year-old's not happy. Throws his shit. Gives him a double fuck you. And he's going to be fine. Maybe a chocolate bar for that one.